promote content area literacy but not sure what to teach, you're going to learn what to do in this video. Hey everybody, I'm Lee Hall from Literacy Teachers and I'm all about helping you inspire, motivate, and change how your students read and write for academic success. In this video, we're talking about content area literacy and specifically if you're interested in promoting it in your classroom, which I hope you are, what should you be teaching? So, quick reminder about our definition for content area literacy. It's the ability to use reading and writing to acquire new knowledge, all right? And in content area literacy, right, as opposed to disciplinary literacy, you are teaching these more generic reading and writing skills and strategies that can promote comprehension within and across discipline. So the things that we're teaching here are not discipline specific. So what can you teach? Now, I'm gonna give you a number of things. These are not in any particular order. And keep in mind that we've got a number of videos about how to teach in these ways. And so some of them are gonna be popping up as cards on the screen, but otherwise I encourage you to dive into our catalog and take a look around because we've got a number of videos that will help you as far as implementing this. So how to monitor your comprehension, being metacognitive, right? Being aware of where you're, where you're comprehending things really well and where your comprehension is breaking down. This can also translate to writing instruction in terms of being aware of how you're communicating and how well that's going to serve your intended audience. Strategies to fix up comprehension difficulties, right? This goes along with being metacognitive and monitoring your comprehension. If you know that your comprehension has failed in some way, what do you do about it, okay? What kinds of strategies are in your toolbox to help you fix that up so that you comprehend it? All right, other things we need to learn here, how to summarize what we've been reading, how to identify questions that we have, okay? Not every question is a question that's super important. How do we differentiate between those that really matter and are important and those that are more maybe superficial? Vocabulary knowledge, okay? Teaching vocabulary is a critical part of content area literacy. It helps build students' background knowledge and it gives them, you know, it gives them greater access to text. So in any discipline, you've got your discipline specific terms. Providing vocabulary instruction on those terms is going to be helpful. How to take notes, okay? And this can kind of go along with how to summarize, but how do you maybe pose a question read some text, right? Looking for those answers. How do you take notes so that you're not copying verbatim? And then how do you write that up into a summary or however it is that you want your students to communicate it? And then previewing the text, right? This is a really simple strategy that can go a long way. Having your students learn to take the time when they get a new text to sort of look through it what kinds of features are there? Does this have a table of contents, an index? Does it look like really dense text? Is it pretty light? Um, who wrote it? What do we know about the author? How is this text laid out? Do there look to be areas that are gonna give you problems, right? Sort of thinking through that text a little bit, becoming familiar with it before we dive into it. All right, so overall, students learn new ways to engage with text when you are teaching them these strategies. I just wanna say these skills and strategies, this is not a comprehensive list. This list can go on and on for days. This is just to get you started thinking. Teaching students those kinds of things helps them better um, engage with the text. Their overall access to the text improves and when their access improves, their content knowledge improves, which is exactly what we want here, right? So to sum it all up, there's a number of ways you can help your students become better readers and writers as it relates to teaching content area literacy. Taking time to teach these skills and strategies is important because it's gonna help your students access and comprehend text better.